What's up, dudes? Coming at you live with a video for week two of Sons of Hat NASCAR 2023. Going to do a quick recap of a very eventful week one of the Daytona 500 to kick off the season. Going to do an update on the league. Going to do a preview of week two. But first, this video is sponsored by Sonny D, much like our boy Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who took home the checkered flag at the Daytona 500. We're going to get into that in a minute. I don't know how Sonny D still has money. I haven't seen anybody drink that in probably 30 years. But they could sponsor Ricky Stenhouse, so they could sponsor us. So pick up some Sonny D for the race this weekend, Sunday, 3.30 at Auto Club Speedway. All right, the Daytona 500 kicking off the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series. It was the longest Daytona 500 in history. Went to multiple overtimes. Ended up being 212 laps. Um... And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. takes it away, gets the checkered flag under yellow um, after numerous yellows before that, forcing multiple overtimes, almost ran out of gas. Um, very eventful race, a lot going on, uh, a lot of fantasy implications for, for a week one. The lineup was jumbling up and down, but as it sits, we have it set for week two. We're going to do an update on the league in a minute, but the Daytona 500, Brad Keselowski takes stage one. Ross Chastain takes stage two, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets his first win of the season. He's locked into the playoffs. Kind of been a long time coming for this guy in that number 47 for J JTG Darty Racing. He is a super speedway driver. He's had a long career. Um, not many accomplishments. Always been a, a middle-of-the-pack kind of guy. Has overperformed at super speedways, but was never able to win the Daytona 500. Um, that has always escaped him, but now he joins an elite class of taking home um, that monumental race. So good for him. He's locked into the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs with that first win of the season. He's currently in first place. Um, shouldn't last long, but we will see. Quick update on the league. Mike Button first place with M Butt 8. Gary in second place with Clint 04. Ross Sliman in third place. I don't know who that is because you guys keep changing your names. And tied for fourth, rounding out the top five, is Jay with Coke Custard and Joe with Spark Plug. All right, looking ahead to week two, we are going to Auto Club Speedway. This is a two-mile track um, out in Southern California. Wide track, a lot of room for passing, two miles, long straightaways, a lot of speed. Um, definitely going to see some drafting, slingshot moves in effect. Like I said, it's a wide track, so... A lot of room for guys to maneuver, to pick up some draft, and then make some passes. Um, tire wear will take effect at it, as it is a concrete track, so we'll keep an eye on that. Other than that, 200, um, 200 laps, 400 miles, 2-mile two speedway. Our picks for Auto Club Speedway to win the race, we're going to go with Kyle Busch in that number 8 for RCR, Richard Childress. He has shown absolute killer speed the first two weeks going back to um the clash at the la coliseum and the daytona 500 both races did not end how he would have wanted them to however he has shown excellent speed he's a veteran obviously he knows these cars he knows these tracks he's with a new team he's looking to prove himself yet again and as he always does um we think he's going to do well this week at Auto Club. He also has a stellar record there in 23 starts. He has 16 top 10s and four wins. So especially with his new team showing a huge amount of promise in that new number eight for Richard Childress Racing. Um, he's hungry. He's looking for it. He's, like I said, been racing very well this year. Unfortunately for him, got wrecked both times. So he's definitely got a little chip on his shoulder. And I think he's got something to prove in that number eight. And our pick this week is that he is going to prove that and come home with the win. Sleeper pick at Auto Club. We're going with Eric Jones. Um, again, not a front runner, middle of the pack kind of guy, but does have a decent record at Auto Club Speedway. We like him as a sleeper pick. In five starts at Auto Club, he does have three top tens. So for a middle of the pack kind of sleeper pick kind of guy, we think Eric Jones might be able to get lucky and pull one out. This weekend, 3.30 p.m. Sunday at Auto Club Speedway. Start your guys. Make your picks. Any questions, reach out to me. Good luck, everybody. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys.